How much? <laughs> Do you really want to know? 300. 745. Yo. What? This feels so much better. So the other day when we were driving the BMW Z3, I started losing clutch feel. Luckily enough, I got it home and uh, I booked it in with my mechanic Mitchell to get it sussed. I've lost three quarters of the pedal and then uh, the very end of it, I've just got a little bit of bite to get it into gear. Luckily enough, the last gear change that the Z3 gave me was into the workshop. Literally cannot get it into gear. Uh, fortunately, we were able to roll it in. So uh, we're about to go and have a look and see what the goal is. There he is. Look at this. She's clean as under here. So we've just undone the slave cylinder and uh, what it is is just two nuts on studs. Pretty much undo those two nuts, a little bit of a turn and that's the slave cylinder out there. As you can see, it's made a little bit of a mess. So yeah, it's slave cylinder, obviously you've got your, your pin here that pushes up against your clutch fork, quite wet, leaking fluid and uh, it seems to be our problem. Let's get a, one of those underway and get it replaced. It's got a bit of a leak at the front main, I think. Oh, look at this little baby downpipe. Wow, that's stuffed, eh? So did that leak into the clutch? Uh, would have a little. Oh, probably not into the clutch itself. Maybe the bell housing and such, but nothing really worried. I've got one um, on its way. Won't be here till 2.30. How much? <laughs> Do you really want to know? <laughs> 300. Hey. 300. 745. Your... Genuine. You are bullshit. <laughs> no, You're this. bullshitting. <laughs> I already looked at him online, you dog. <laughs> I was like, maybe I looked at the wrong one. Is there anything else wrong with it? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> no. Nah, it's not too bad. Oh, look. You need a new tail shaft donut. And those bolts have been put in wrong. Um, what do you mean? It's cracking. No, nah, that. Oh, listen to him. Uh, up That's cells, fine. Upsells, upsells, upsells. What do you reckon the leak at the front is? Probably uh, it looks like, looks like he doesn't know. <laughs> He's like, oh, there's a leak? No, I've not this before. It looks like your sump, or your, yeah, sump gasket or your um, front main. That should be right. Um, Just clean it off. And that? Yeah, you... She's you right. Back leaking a little bit. So, wait, how much, how much is this? Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> I have to get my calculator out. <laughs> <laughs> and the belts, um, I had the belt replaced, so they should be alright. Belts? Yeah. Look at that one. That no, nah, that's mint. <laughs> that's full fucking air. No, nah, that's fine. <laughs> Can you get another one of those or not? You might uh, as well. Yeah, it, belt. Is that just the aircon? Yeah. So that's the tensioner thingy? Yeah, correct. So just undo that and just slip it on. See this little cover? Slip it on. See that? Yeah, slip it on. Slip it on. Slip it on. I need to go get one first. Um, <laughs> and oil change. You want an oil change as well? Well, we might as well. No, Your that's... drone brakes are shot and you need a new transmission. We might as well, because I don't think the oil's been done for a little while. So. Yeah, we can do that. But I want Penrite 2050, the one I always use. <laughs> Extra 10. The vintage Extra 10. Vintage no, no. Vintage 7030, bro. Just put our vegetable in it. <laughs> Canola. <laughs> Oh, the, you need a shock absorber. Your drum brakes are shot and you need a shock absorber. Nah, that's fine. Oh, yeah, you need a manifold. Did he do a good world, world job? Manifold or muffler? Huh? Is that muffler or manifold? That one, that's a muffler. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, did you check the manifold <laughs> for yeah, the leaks? Is this the cat? Huh? Is that the cat? We should decat it. Decat. Take, off, take, off. take that off, but leave that. <laughs> but leave. leave that. <laughs> so there's nothing else wrong with it though. So is this why I lost pedal feel here? Yeah, that's where your pressure's going, bro. Straight out the side of it. So was it leaking? Yeah. See all the, see all the shit around it? Yeah, but was it leaking on the ground or? Nah. No. Oh. Oh, okay. oh, sheesh. Yeah. That's all like fluid and stuff. No, I didn't have anything on the ground, bro. All cruddy and whatnot. Hey? I didn't have anything on the ground. No, it wouldn't have leaked onto the ground. It would have been inside the bell housing and stuff. Oh, so everything else is sook. Yeah, you pads with it, This guy, stop selling stuff. <laughs> no, you got plenty of, you got plenty of meat. Oh. Is that normal? No, not really. Hmm. Lucky it's only the rears. Yeah. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about that. Does that one do it? No. It moves a bit, but it's not up and down like the other one. Maybe it needs to be rebuilt, the other one. Maybe just pull it apart and have a look at it, no? 
I can if you'd like. No, nah, that sounds like money, so don't, <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> what am I looking at? These. The crusty old bush. They're fine. Your sway bar links are perished. You need a new shock absorber. <laughs> <laughs> is this where my spare wheel is? Yeah. Oh, there's actually one in there too. Hey, look, that's where you fill it up from, dude. What? They've used... <laughs> oh, do you put air in there? Don't. I don't know what the fuck that's for, hey. That's to pump up the spare. Yeah, but the spare... Wait. No, surely. Oh! It is! You can pump up your spare when you're at the Hell? servo. Ah, no, uh, BMW, no. dude. <laughs> no way! The, the valves are over here, man. No, they must have like a cord running into the... That's why you pay That's extra cool. for That's a BMW. Cool. Can you not let the air out? <laughs> I might need it. <laughs> so what's actually involved in fixing it? So we're gonna obviously have to remove our... Are you just gonna make it up as you go along? You don't actually know. Oh, uh, well, I thought I'd give it a go. <laughs> this no. is all video. <laughs> <laughs> remove this line off the, off the slave here. Yeah. Um, have our new slave. Reinstall our line. Um, install the slave back onto the gearbox and bleed her back up and we should have a clutch pedal again so luckily you don't have to actually take that out like you can yeah, still yeah. fit it, it does, in it does get pretty tight up in there but you can sort of once you've undone both nuts you can sort of just turn the slave out enough to get it out are you going to clean up the surface for me or are you just going to leave that corrosion no that's um that's adhesive why oh i was going to say why it's is fluid. it green because <laughs> the both looks green uh half an hour work and yeah apart $1,000 in the bill. They finally had the slave rock up. We have the uh, ACS BMW Z3 slave. As you can see, it comes just like the uh, old one, just a lot cleaner and a completely different color. So uh, let's chuck that in. And So there we have it, guys. We have the brand new slave cylinder all installed and bled up. We're having a bit of trouble with bleeding the uh, slave cylinder up. So what we did was we actually pulled it off of the transmission and manually bled it with the, the rod on the actual slave cylinder itself. So we just cracked the nipple, pushed the, uh, pushed the rod in, uh, closed the nipple and let it come back out. Did that a few times and uh, the pedals come up sweet. He thinks it's good, man. Hi sounds, guys, it's Nicole. Sounds broken. It is broken. Was that cold? Was that a cold? Was that a cold rev? Yeah. Oh, do you follow my YouTube channel? No. Will I? Lamana no. Garage. <laughs> the keys? Here's you your keys, mate. Is it fixed? It's all fixed. So I've got a clutch pedal again. You do, mate. You've got plenty of pressure in there. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, there's my thongs. <laughs> dude, I've legitimately been looking for them. <laughs> oh, I had no idea where these things were, dude. Oh, well, there you go. You found them. <laughs> what a day to be alive. Yeah, that feels a fair bit better. Bit so better. what did you actually do? You just replaced the slave, so... That's Pretty much, so... $50. First, <laughs> 50 bucks. Now, nah, first thing first, I obviously cracked the bonnet open, had a look, the uh, reservoir was a little bit low fluid, um, got her up on the hoist, had a look, yeah, and yeah. there was brake fluid, clutch fluid around the bell housing on the gearbox itself. Yeah. Obviously, next step was pull the slave out, and uh, as you can tell from probably previous... So that's why I lost the, the pedal feel there. Yeah, like so it was completely. leaking out past the slave itself. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's enough. why it was all dirty and it was... And there's nothing else wrong with it, is there? No. Like... Oh, there was a few other things nothing. that I did no, no, no. It's no, a no. BMW, mate. <laughs> <laughs> nah, there was a belt that I found that was all cracked and perished and whatnot, so I replaced that. That was just your air conditioning belt. And what oil did we put in it? Full sin. Full sin, mate. 10W50. We don't muck Penrath, around here, man, HPR with BMWs. 10, yeah. Do not muck around. I even blew your air filter out. Did you really? Yeah, I did. Are you going to charge me for that? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. No, All right, no, that one's on the house. I'm taking this one away. Thanks heaps for that, and I really do appreciate it. No worries, and no. if there's a problem, you know I'll, where to find me. I'll see you in about five minutes. <laughs> Thanks, bro. No worries. This is uh, behind the scenes on YouTube, mate. Hey! I'm in danger. Actually, goes into gear. <laughs> Bald Italian man coming through. Bald Italian man coming through. Now what's the fucking movie? Uh, uh, I'm Vin Diesel. No, no, not Vin Diesel. Um, Jason Statham. Yeah, that'll do. Oh, do you do the Italian job? I'll take that. Yeah.
So this is the very first test drive since we've had it fixed and oh my goodness it actually drives so much better I haven't felt the clutch this good since I've owned this car what the hell I've been driving around with a bad slave I reckon for at least two years but I just didn't know it the clutch feels completely different like the bite point is completely different what this feels so much better oh my god i love this car again i can't believe how much of a difference this slave has made i legitimately must have been driving this car half stuffed it must have been on the way out for ages it feels so much better why do i low-key love driving this more than the BMW M2 the manual shift and now with a clutch that actually works mwah, amazing amazing I love driving this car dude it is so good more Z3 yeah content incoming this is so much better thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you like it it helps me out a little bit thank you and we'll see you in the next video peace